About 644 this morning and we're taking a live look from the Kennedy Space Center. That's of course in Cape Canaveral, Florida, where a new era in American space exploration begins today. In less than two hours, NASA is set to launch its biggest rocket ever. The uh, goal of the Artemis mission is to send Americans back to the moon and then one day to Mars as well. And you can see all those people there yeah. gathered to uh, witness this historic event that's scheduled for later this morning. Now, the Artemis SLS rocket is a monster, 322 feet tall, 15% more powerful than the rocket that last sent Americans to the moon 50 years ago. Today's first step, a 42 day uncrewed test flight, setting the Orion crew capsule perched atop the rocket into orbit around the moon. NASA scientists will then gather data on what the spacecraft and astronauts will experience on future flights. So this is unmanned, right? So if successful, humans could be on a lunar orbit flight within two years and then a moon landing itself in 2025 or 2026. That is the timeline laid out so far. All right, well, how about a donate, donate, a donut <laughs> to celebrate the Artemis One mission today? Krispy Kreme is dishing out a donut filled with cheesecake flavored cream dipped in cookies and cream icing and a nod to an adage to the moon being made of cheese, the company says. <laughs> it's designed to look like a moon. It, it does kind of look like one. It does. And will be available at Krispy Kremes across the country f uh, for today only, though. The nearest Krispy Kreme here is in West Dallas, 108th Street. So pick yourself up a donut, uh, Artemis Moon Donut, if you want one of those. What I thought was interesting about the story is that we were saying this is a big rocket, right? But it's mm -hmm. only 15% more powerful than yeah. the one we used in the 60s. Right. From I mean, that's pretty crazy. Ago. I guess that just shows you how powerful that one was back then. Right. Well, and so today is August 29th. You kind of, it's one of these days where you remember where you were when Artemis 1 went up in the air, right? I was, I was sitting on my couch <laughs> <laughs> watching it on TV. And you can watch it later here today. It'll be on NBC whenever that does happen. But it was interesting to see all those people waiting out there as well because you know, that's a lot of people used to do. They watch the space yeah. shuttle take off from Cape Canaveral. Well, and I'm looking at the list that, on my computer here in front of me of the people who are going to be part of this. Jack Black. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Star Spangled Banner, Josh Groban will be seeing that with Herbie Hancock in America the Beautiful by the Philadelphia Orchestra and cellist Yo-Yo Ma. So it's just a wow. big old party today. It's all over the place. As I said earlier, it's nice to have Americans be able to rally around something uh, that is not political and, and watch hopefully the success of this rocket. It's 647 now. The 130